Hey guys, Alan Hain here, the Lawn Care Nut with another lawn tip. Now today we're gonna to talk about an insect that attacks lawns here in the Midwest and really throughout most of the country, including Florida. We're gonna talk about sod webworms. Now sod webworm is kind of an overall term used for a lot of different caterpillars that attack lawns, but generally they're going to start feeding in the spring. They overwinter and then in the spring they come up and they begin to feed, but you don't really notice the problem at that point because your lawn is vigorously growing in the spring and it kind of outgrows any damage. However, when we get to summertime, the lawn growth will typically slow down or even stop as the lawn goes into summer dormancy. And when that happens, these caterpillars or sod webworms continue to feed. However, you don't necessarily notice the damage because of the fact that your lawn's already brown from being dormant. Once the lawns begin to green up in late August and September when temperatures come down a little bit and we get some moisture, that's when the damage is noticed. And you'll see here, here are a couple of Kentucky bluegrass lawns that have been completely decimated by sod webworm. Here's another one. This is bent grass. And this one has also been severely damaged from sod webworm. One way to tell that you're possibly going to have a sod webworm problem is you'll see the adult moths flying up as you walk. Now the adults don't do any damage to the lawn, but they are definitely an indicator that you're going to have larvae and the larvae will do damage. Now me, I get sod webworm every year in my tall fescue lawn, but they don't cause enough damage for me to treat. I practice integrated pest management, which basically says if I don't think they're going to cause major damage to my desirable crop, which in this case is grass, I let them go. And you know, my lawn's pretty vigorous anyway, and it kind of grows through any of the issues that these sod webworm will cause. However, here you can see, here's a few of the caterpillars that I did dig up, you can see what they look like. And then also through this video, you've seen what the adults look like as I chase them through my lawn. If you are going to treat because you've got a lawn that's seeing damage, you want to definitely do that in July and possibly again in late August. It just depends on how our year goes. Usually sod webworm will get two life cycles in, but I have seen years where there are three full life cycles. Uh, you want to use a product that's a, that contains bifenthrin, which is uh, sometimes known as Tall Star, would be like the branded name. Uh, you can also use a product that contains Dilox. I'm Alan Hain, the Lawn Care Nut, talking a little today about sod webworm. Hope you all have a great week, and I'll see you in the lawn.